welcome to the next video in our homework help series. Today we are still looking at fractions and today we want to look at subtracting fractions and then also adding and subtracting mixed fractions. Let's take a look at some subtracting fractions now. Here we have four fifths take two thirds. To make sure that we can subtract these, they need to have the same denominator. So we can see that 5 and 3 would both go into 15. So if we multiply the first fraction, top and bottom by 3, and the second, top and bottom by 5, we will have 4 times 3 is 12 over 15, and 2 times 5 is 10 over 15, and 12 take 10 is 2 over 15. Can you simplify that any further? No, you can't. So you continue on to the next question. 1 and 1 over 6 take 4 over 6. So we can already see that the denominators are the same. So it's almost ready to go. But if you wanted to do 1 over 6 take 4 over 6, you can see you have a little bit of a problem. So let's convert the first one to an improper fraction. And we do this by saying 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 7 over 6 take 4 over 6 which gives us 7 take 4 is 3 over 6. This can be simplified by dividing the top and the bottom by 3 so we get a half as our final answer. Let's take a look now at adding mixed fractions. To do this, what we'll see is we have 2 plus 1. So we'll do the whole numbers first. Then we will add the fractions. So a third plus 2 over 9. We can see that 3 and 9 both go into 9. So with the first fraction, if I multiply the top and the bottom by 3, I will get 3 over 9 plus 2 over 9 is 5 over 9. So I have 5 over 9 in the fraction, 3 in the whole numbers, so altogether my answer is 3 and 5 over 9. Let's take a look at the next one. Again, starting with the whole numbers, we have 3 plus 2 is 5. Then we'll look at the fraction part of the question, 4 fifths plus 5 over 6. 5 and 6 both go into 30, so I can multiply the first fraction top and bottom by 6, and the second fraction top and bottom by 5. So I have 24 over 30 plus 25 over 30. This gives me 49 over 30. And we really need to change that to a mixed number. So 30 goes into 49 once with a remainder of 19 over 30. So I have 5 in my whole numbers and I actually have a mixed number in my fraction. So putting those both together, I have a 5 and a 1, so I have 6 wholes and 19 over 30 as my fraction. Okay, and finally, let's take a look at subtracting mixed fractions. We do it the same way as addition. We start with the whole numbers. So 2 take 1 is 1, and then we'll look at the fractions. So 3 quarters take 1 over 8. We can see that 4 and 8 both go into 8, so I just need to multiply the first fraction, top and bottom, by 2. So I have 6 over 8, take 1 over 8, and that gives me 5 over 8. That can't be simplified any further. So I have 1 in the whole numbers, 5 eighths in the fraction, so my answer is 1 and 5 over 8. And the last one. So starting with the whole numbers, I have 4 
take 1 is 3. And then I have 1 over 6, take 3 over 4. So having a look at that now, 6 and 4 both go into 24, so I can multiply top and bottom by 4 for the first fraction and top and bottom by 6 for the second fraction. So I have 4 over 24 take 18 over 24. And here we see a little bit of a problem doing 4 take 18. So what needs to happen now, and I'll do this in a different colour, I need to borrow from one of the whole numbers here. So I'll borrow from this 3, that'll leave me with two holes, and I'll give that one whole number to the 1 6. So we have 1 and 1 6. And if we look at that as a whole number with a base or a denominator of 24, we're looking at 24 over 24. So I've borrowed a whole number and I've changed it to be with a denominator of 24. So what I'm looking at now is 28 over 24, if I add the 28 plus the 4, take 18 over 24, and that gives me 10 over 24. That can be simplified further by dividing top and bottom by 2. So I have 5 over 12. So I have two whole numbers, 5 over 12. So my final answer is 2 and 5 over 12.